My name is Daniel, and today we're going to be experimenting with Thunkable, um, so, yeah, Thunkable, Thunkable is a web, not a web, an uh, um, online tool that you could use to make apps, base, basically, I'm sorry that, I did, I've been sitting here for about an hour trying to do this, um, and they all failed, one, my microphone was broken, so, come on guys, Welcome back to another video. Oh, the other, I don't know, it's just I spent an hour. Okay, so basically, what you want to do is go onto your iPad, first things first. Go ahead. Three, two, one, go. So basically, Basically, what you want to do on your iPad is click sign in with Google, continue. But first things first, you don't even know what this app is. So basically, once you're in your app store, you go here, go to Thunkable, live, and download it, click open. Now what you want to do is click sign in with Google, continue, use another account. This is sign up slash sign in, email, phone, And then password next. Next. Now it just takes you into this big area. Turn your iPad off. It, on yours, it will look nothing like mine. Um, it will look a little bit different. But on yours, um, please ask Pam before you enter any web browser. Um, yeah, I'm Kids Cutting Live, so I can do whatever I want. If you are a kid doing this, you would probably want to go to kidscodinglive.com and go to games, Thunkable, and there you go. But if you are an adult watching this, or somebody else, other, then you just want to go to thunkable.com. Simple enough. It takes you to the same place. See? Okay, so let's just get started. You can cl um, close out the tabs before you. Now, right now, it will take you to this screen. Click sign with Google. This is sign up slash sign in. Use another account. I mean, that's probably the only account that you have on there. And then, put in your email, next. Put in your password. That's not my password. That's my password. There you go. So now I'm just gonna go ahead and delete it. Delete. Delete it. Delete. Delete it. These are all like things that failed. Delete. Delete it. Delete. Delete it. Delete. I couldn't have done this before the video. <sighs> okay. So now what you want to do is click create a new app. Project name. Put it out of there. Create. Now basically what we're going to do is I'm going to be explaining what all of this is. All these. Step by step by step. But I'm not going to be coding. Yes, you do have to code. What we're going to be coding is you're going to push a button and alert, it's going to pop up. An alert. 
So basically, we have a button. I'm gonna drag all of them on the screen and then literally delete it. So, so we have a button. You could customize the button using new, using this, using that. You could customize font size, background, image, um, experiment with your own. You could use the label. You could color the label to say whatever you want. Label, font size, number of lines, color, background color, font style, font weight, text align. Do whatever you want. Text input. Think what you think it is. Hint. T type here. Text. Keyboard type. Height. Width. And then this is a bunch of pixels. This viewer. Now right here, I'm. It's pick one. This is basically I'm gonna be going over like rows and columns and list viewers and all of that in the next video. And then we have web viewer. Um, is it where do we move? And we have a switch. So if you want, you could do if then switches off, turn color off, or whatever. Um, where did where is the switch? And then you have a slider. We have an alert, which is what we're going to be using today. Now this is an invisible component. You can't see it right now. So basically, it'll just pop up on the bottom. And then we have our canvas. Canvas is basically basically when you drag on a canvas to your screen, it's exactly like Sprite. A Sprite and Scratch. Sorry. It's exact when you drag on a canvas to your screen, it is exactly like Scratch. You basically in Scratch once you drag on a canvas. Okay. And then you have a loading icon, a date input. A time input, a PDF reader, top navigator bar, bottom, stack. Like I said, I'm going to be going over all of this in the next video or in the live stream that I'm going to be having at 6.30 tonight. Sound, text-to-speech, speech recognizer, assistant, translator, image, Photo library, camera, barcode scanner, image recognizer, animation, and video. Local storage, local DB, real time DB, spreadsheet, web API, media DB, smart contract, blockchain wallet, map, location sensor. Anything that you could possibly get. So basically to view all, everything that you have, you need to go on your iPad. Three, two, one, go. Um, just open it up. Now you'll see that really weird once I exit out of this and go back in that. We'll see this really weird action compare, which remember I typed that in in the beginning. So you're supposed to see, give it a sec, you're supposed to see everything that's here. Basically, if um, you don't have an iPad, um, it's basically that everything that I put doesn't fit on the screen. So it basically just merges it down. So yeah, you won't be able to see it. But once I will delete all of this, you know. Um, if you don't have an iPad, you could always just go to live test. I said you could always just go to live test. Maybe I need to turn off my iPad. Live test. Oh, this is gonna just ask me for the password again. I'm just gonna exit out of the pool so it thinks that I'm not in it. So you could always just go to live test again, and then everything that you built will show up just exactly how it's supposed to be on your screen right there. So, in order to delete something, you can't just select it and delete it. That won't work. 
you actually have to go select it, find where which one is highlighted, for example, image one is highlighted, and delete it by clicking that delete button and clicking delete, which I'm not going to do. So while I'm deleting all of these, how about we do a quick commercial break about my new Google Classroom? Meet you there. Hello. Now, today, we have a brand new offer on Kids Coding Live on Google Classroom. All you have to do is go into your Google Classroom, click Add Class, and then type in your class code. 2-U-S-3-F-P-O. Once again, that's 2-U-S-3-F-P-O. If you want to go to Google Classroom, click Classroom. Dot Google. Dot com. And click Enter. Then, click the plus. Click Join Class. And enter the class code. Once again, the class code is 2 once again, the class code is 2US3FPO. 2US3FPO. And input it there and click join. We post things every single day. Hope you have fun. Bye. Okay, so. Quick motion break, so hopefully you enroll to my new Google Classroom. Um, but right now, I'm going to make, when you click a button, it'll pop up as enrolled. So first, I want to do a button. Drag on a button. So drag on a button. And then, X, do that, and then set the text to alert. Alert. And then you want to go ahead and drag in a loot. Blacks. One button, one click. A loot one, a loot one call show. So I'm just going to do text H, message H, confirm H, cancel H. Then just true. I don't know. So now on your iPad, or you could click live test, a button will come up. Well, since I'm previewing it on here, the alert will actually not show up. So I'm going to actually start recording. Now, three, two, one, go. So now you want to go here to your Thunkable app. Now click it, and look at that. Look at that. You made yourself uh, an alert. Well, that wraps it up for this video. Thank you so much for watching. Um, I hope to catch you back soon. Hopefully this tutorial was helpful. Um, it's really, thank you so much. Make sure you leave a like, subscribe. Um, hit the bell notification, post notifications, it, everything, just imagine it, I don't know. Um, if you want to do the first video introduction to Scratch, um, go ahead and uh, it, click on the link in the description. Um, but thank you so much for watching, my pleasure, my name is Daniel, and I hope to see you soon in a brand new video. Kids Coding Live at gmail.com. Goodbye!